It's Susie Homemaker. Sorry, I just knocked up over something for the video. Um, little disclaimer uh, if you see me wearing the same outfit in a bunch of different videos, it is because I'm home on break and I'm not going to change clothes just for a new video. And But I did want to get all these videos done. And kind of a second, I had. Changing of the scenes, little allergies, so um, if I sneeze or sound really nasally, that's why. Uh, so this video is kind of about the zero waste movement, my thoughts on it, and um, if you want to be less waste, some tips for that. So kind of my first thought on the zero waste movement is it's not really a movement. It's more of us kind of going back to ways that our grandparents or even your parents used to do things. Uh, my grandmother and my aunt had stories of they'd go to buy flour at the market and it would come in um, flour sacks. They weren't made out of paper always, so you bought, they would come in like cloth sacks and they reuse the cloth and make clothes so they were just using up materials that they already had they were repurposing things and I don't think that's really a new concept we did that in my house a lot because um, my grandparents grew up during the depression and so um, that's how my father was raised and that's how we kind of grew up we would always come up with new uses for things or we would go to flea markets, we would go to uh, thrift stores, and if it was free, like, we would do that. So that's not really a new thing for me. Um, and I don't think it's a really new thing for a lot of people, but as being zero waste kind of is. And I don't think zero waste is fully accurate. And there's a few videos, um, if you want to look them up, Again, they might be linked to this video, I don't know, but there are a bunch of videos that talk about this. And one of the first things is, is that people talk about using your own container for like bulk meat, cheese. But if you buy dairy, if you buy meat, um, you're not going to be zero waste because big agriculture is a huge polluter. Um, and there's kind of no way to get around that aspect. If, if you're not going to be vegan, then you can't be zero waste. Sorry. Having said that, I'm not a vegan, um, but I do try to buy more locally raised, humanely raised, free range type of smaller batch goods. Um, so I try to limit that and we eat vegetarian, vegan a couple times a week at least. Um, that kind of offset that. But Another thing about being zero waste is I see a lot of videos about, oh, you should buy bulk. I've bought bulk for a few years now, and I've seen them fill the bulk bins. They fill them with, like, paper or plastic sacks. I mean, how do you think they fill the bulk bins? How do you think the food, your beans, your rice, your whatever got in there? Um, it's transported to the store in some way. So if unless they're raising it in the back of the store, you're growing it yourself, it's not zero waste. It's less waste. Um, you can buy exactly what you need if you have a smaller recipe or things like that, but it's not zero waste. Um, so those are kind of some of my thoughts on that. And especially with your groceries, if you think about it, a um, hundred years ago or so, grocery stores had like staples but you might buy your eggs there or something like that but a lot of people had the milkman where you had reusable glass containers that would be delivered to your house and you'd pay a weekly amount for however milk you bought that was super green we don't really have that anymore um you can buy milk in glass containers now i forget there's several brands that do it i can't remember them off the top of my head uh, but the deposit on those bottles is like $2 per bottle. And where I live in California, it's $8 for a half gallon of milk. 
I'm sure it's really good quality milk. I just can't afford that milk. It's really expensive for me. Um, having said that, uh, we don't, we're trying not to eat as many like canned goods and things like that for being less wastes. Like I said, zero waste is kind of a misnomer, so I prefer the term less waste, uh, but I think it's easier to say zero waste. It's catchier. Um, I'm sure you might have seen a lot of videos on how people are being more zero waste, but I'm going to give you a couple of things I do. And these are things I've been doing for a long time now, so it's not like I jumped on the zero waste bandwagon. I live in California and we have like a no plastic bag policy. So this has been going on for a couple years in my county at least. Now it's statewide. So I just, I started using reusable bags before that because you also get five cents off in some stores for doing that. And I don't want to pay 10 cents back. So that was another issue. Uh, another thing is that I'm really lucky to live in an area that has farmers markets and I live in it kind of centrally where we have a ton of bulk stores around me. Not everybody can do that and I understand that but any way you can be less waste I think is better for you and I think it's better for the environment. So especially if you have kids it's kind of thinking a futuristic kind of way. What do you want to leave for your kids? And that's how I look at it. Um, anyway, enough for my little rant about less waste, zero waste. I'm going to show you some of the things I have. Uh, you've probably seen some of these before, probably a lot of these before, and you're tired of it, but I'm going to tell you what I do anyway. So the first things I have are reusable bags, and I have a couple different types of bags. The first one I have, pull it up here, is kind of the tote bag kind of thing. We have the handles, it's washable, it's reusable. I've had this one a few years now. I can't remember how long, but I love it. It's a good size, and I just keep reusing and reusing and reusing it. I mean, use these grocery store, the department store, the thrift store, farmer's market. We used to use these. Um, or even on overnight trips. If we're just going over to uh, our parents overnight for an evening, we'll just throw the clothes in we need for one night. We don't get down our suitcases. So the, I love these. These are, mm, I love them. I have a ton of them. I have another type of reusable bag. If you buy meats or dairy, eggs, um, Maybe you buy kombucha or yogurt. I don't, I don't know what you're gonna buy. But if it's hot, you just need to keep it cold. I have a reusable cold bag. This one is a Whole Foods one. I didn't actually get it at Whole Foods, I think. I think it was given to me or something. But I've had this one maybe four years now-ish. It has a nice zip top. I use it all the time. And then if it gets gross inside, I just wipe it down with a cleaning cloth. I have a third type of bag I use, and it's these collapsible ones. And I love to throw a bunch of these in my purse because I don't want to have to run to my car every time I need a plastic bag or a reusable bag. This particular one I got when my county was switching over to uh, no plastic. And so they were kind of getting everyone jump started and giving these away at our art and wine festival. It's very decent size, as you can see. You saw how tiny it was in its little pouch. It can hook onto your keychain. It's elastic drawstring. And this particular one is also made 100% out of recycled plastic bottles. So I really like that about it. And then it just collapses inside the bag again. I use these like bandit. <laughs> um, I've had these maybe four or five years, maybe a little longer, and they've held up really well. And I just wash them, throw them in the washing machine when they get kind of gross. So they last a really long time. I love that. Uh, another kind of thing I use, we bought this maybe a year, year and a half ago because we go to the farmer's market and it was really frustrating for us having our tote bags and it was frustrating 
because I'd have to carry my wallet, I'd have to carry the keys. It didn't like to carry my purse around. My husband would wander off and he'd have all the money I had in the bag or I, I need it. And we were really worried the handle would rip off one of our bags. Um, and I think we had that happen once. So I saw people getting these. I jumped on the bandwagon and I found this collapsible canvas bag. It's made out of canvas and it has a metal uh, reinforced right here and handle right here. If I bought a new one today, I'd probably buy one that detaches because I can't take this off and throw it in the washing machine. I can wipe it down inside, but um, I can't take the, take the bag off. So that would have been nice. But I've had this a year, year and a half. I absolutely love it. Love the pattern. Um, and then I just put this little kind of cloth on the bottom in case I have any veggies or herbs or anything that leaks in the bag. It absorbs it and I can throw that in the washing machine. And it also has a nice little zipper pocket in here. I keep my money and my car keys when I go to the farmer's market. So I love that. Um, speaking of bags, um, the whole theme, I'm going to show you a few of our, or my grocery bags when I go buy produce or bulk items in the store. So first one I have are these bags. They are actually laundry bags. I got them three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree maybe three or four years ago. This sounds about right. And they zipper shut. So I don't have to worry about the drawstring on them. I really like that. I put carrots, onions, squash. I put a ton of things in here. When they get dirty, I just throw them in the washing machine. They're great. Uh, they are made out of plastic nylon, but I've had them for quite some time. And I wanted to show these so that I'm not perfect about being plastic free, but if you're trying to be more zero waste, less waste, uh, three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and you're not using the disposable bags. Uh, I still have a ton of disposable bags from before, or when my roommate goes, she doesn't, she doesn't use those all the time, or my husband. And I save those and I use them for um, my cat's litter box. I do that. Uh, another bag I recently got these. These are drawstring, and. I really wish they had like a little clamp on them because I don't like tying them because sometimes they get really knotted but I do like the lighter mesh of it again this is plastic I think but you can throw them in the washing machine I got it at our local Sprouts and they were three for two fifty I want to say and they're pretty decent size and I like putting herbs, lettuces, uh, kale, spinach, things like that. Or I wouldn't put them in the finer mesh bag or in the next bag I'm going to show you. But I have a couple of different bags for what I need. Um, I keep my bags in makeup pouches. I subscribe to a makeup box. Um, and I get one of these every month and I use them for different storage uh, compartments. But inside I have these cotton bags. This one's a little stained, something leaked on it. But uh, I've had these for about a year now. Uh, we got them as a wedding gift. I knew I wanted some of these. I researched them. These are the ones I decided I wanted because they were a good deal for the price. Uh, they're Owl Trail. That's the brand. I don't know if you could see that. But I'll put a link to them on the bottom. Uh, they're cotton, they drawstring, I throw them in the washing machine, I put beans, rice, I put in, I put flour and sugar in these as well. And it's worked really nicely. The weave is pretty uh, close and so I've never had it leak. I recently got brown sugar, put it in, and then I just put the bag in. Um, my bucket to be washed and it was just fine. So I really like these for those sorts of things. And then one of the next things I have, probably see a ton of these also, uh, but mason jars. I 
I can. So I make pickles and jams and sauces and everything and I can them. So I already had a ton of mason jars. But I really like these for things you can't put in any of those bags if you're buying bulk. Um, or for storing my beans and everything. So I recently bought some nutritional yeast in bulk. And I did not, I didn't want to buy it in a plastic bag. I wanted to buy it loose. I brought it in a mason jar. They took off the tear weight at the cash register. And then they just charged me for what was inside. So that was really nice. One of the other jars I recently bought, um, but I had been looking for a little while. I didn't want to pay $15, $20 for it. Um, I didn't. But it was big, giant jars. I don't know what you would call them. If you know what you would call them, put it in the comments. But they have these little removable gaskets, and then it kind of closes, and then it snaps on. This one is my bigger one. I found two of these, luckily. And I want to put, we buy a lot of like black beans and rice and things like, and oats. We make, we buy a ton of oats when they're on sale because we make our own oatmeal and like oat breads. And so I wanted to buy one of these so I didn't have like five mason jars of oats. And the last thing I'm going to show you, uh, we have, and it's not Tupperware, it's Snapware. And I could put a link to it below as well. It does have plastic lids, but you can buy them in glass bottoms. And then they have like this lifetime warranty. So if you like just break a lid or you just break a bottom, you can call them up and they'll replace it. I had one where the container had a crack in it, fresh from the box. And it was so sad. I called them. They replaced it right away. It's great. Uh, I could put a link to them too. I bought ours at Costco. So we have a Costco membership and I think it was $25 for a pretty big set and we use those all the time. But this one I got for $4. It's silicone with plastic lid and it has a little fork, knife, spoon, caramel that just snaps into the lid. And I've been looking for one like this for quite some time. Because I travel a lot and I don't like to take home leftovers and those cheap flimsy bags, boxes, and just styrofoam containers. We don't want it. This one has a pretty good seal. Sometimes it's hard to get the lid off. There you go. So the lid comes off and then this just pops out. And it's a really good size. I really like it. Um, and I can throw it in my washing machine or the dishwasher. Not this laundry washer obviously um but these are great for leftovers and i keep this in my trunk so there's we went for pho one night and i never eat all my pho i just pop this open at the end of the meal and i just put the leftovers in it and it was good to go so i hope you kind of learned my take on everything. Uh, maybe you got some ideas for how you could be less waste. If you have any questions, you have any comments, or you want to know something else about what I do, uh, leave it in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up or follow to subscribe. So thanks, and I'll also put a link to my blog on here for some do-it-yourself recipes and things like that. Bye for now.